everyone welcome to this morning's thought for the day coming live from the Avon Valley churches seven churches on the western edge of the new forest around Fordingbridge in the Avon Valley in Hampshire I'm Canon Gary Philbrick the rector here welcome to our regular congregations and welcome to the increasing number of visitors who are finding us day by day wonderful to be able to worship together like this even while we have to be physically separated the hymn that I'm going to use at the end of this thought is in most hymn books and I've put the words on our website and on the Avon Valley Church's Facebook page so you can join in. It's I heard the voice of Jesus say, come unto me and rest. I'll begin with the collect, which is a gathering prayer for this week. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The song that I was playing as we began was from the Teze community in southern France. My soul is at rest in God alone. And I thought we might spend a few moments this morning reflecting on rest. The effect of Covid-19 means that some people's lives have become very hectic and stressful. Those working for the NHS, those caring for others, those with children at home, um, all, all, as, as the schools are all closed. But for some people, life has actually become less hectic. They have more time on their hands than they know what to do with, perhaps stuck at home on their own, or just used to being able to go out a lot and be with people. I've seen several online conversations about the difference between introverts, who greatly enjoy time on their own, and extroverts, for whom time alone can be difficult. St Augustine of Hippo lived around the year 400 in North Africa, and he's credited with having written the first ever autobiography, The Confessions, the story of how he became a Christian. And in that he wrote, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. Our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. So whether we're over busy or whether we have too much time on our hands, we all need to think again about how we rest in God alone. That's how Psalm 62 begins. My soul finds rest in God alone. And the New Testament has a good balance between striving or persevering and resting or abiding. Kate, in her lovely thought for the day, reflected on the importance of the table and eating together. And you can still see that on Facebook and YouTube. And we all need to find ways of being still, of working out a pattern of prayer that works for us, of just finding time to rest in the love of God. Henry Davis, in a famous poem, wrote, What is this life, if full of care, we have no time to stand and stare? No time to stand beneath the boughs, 
and stare as long as sheep or cows. And Anne Lewin, known to many of us here, puts it like this in her poem Meditation. Cows get it about right. Unhurried pace and gentle curiosity. The natural rhythms of their day giving them ample time to chew things over. We could do worse than stand around like cows. There's an interesting thought. And Jesus, in chapter 11 of Matthew's Gospel, puts it this way. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. As we reflect on these words, and to lead us into our prayers, we'll hear a rest in the Lord from Mendelssohn's wonderful oratorio, Elijah. So we come to a time of prayer. Jesus, when we feel stressed, help us to accept your invitation to come empty and receive the rest we need. Help us wing willingly to release our fears, our worries, our own agendas, our to-do lists. Ease the tensions and replenish our bodies. Silence the voices of doubt and speak your words of truth. Remove the heaviness of our days and pour your Holy Spirit out abundantly into our lives. Fill us with your peace, joy and love. Fill us until our lives reflect the beauty of resting in you. Amen. So we give thanks for all of the blessings of this day. Give thanks for the places where we are for the people who are important to us, for all the things that fill our lives with gladness. Give thanks for all the generosity and care which this COVID-19 time uh, is bringing, 
for all those many hundreds of thousands of people who have volunteered to help with the National Health Service, for all those helping in tiny ways in their own communities with shopping and caring and phoning and being there for other people. We remember all of those who are stressed, all of those working in the health service, all of those feeling anxious about their own health, all of those feeling lonely. We pray that this day all of us may know something of God's peace. A few moments quiet for your own prayers. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them who are trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As our time of worship draws to a close, I'll sing the hymn, and you can join in if you wish to. I heard the voice of Jesus say, come unto me and rest. You'll find this in most hymn books, and I've put the words on our, and on our Facebook page so that you can join in. accidentally changing the words in him so you may have spotted one or two new inventions there a bit of creativity thank you for joining us this morning either live or afterwards do come back again we'll worship together every morning at 10 o'clock uh, enjoy the rest of your day and try to find some time to rest in the lord and so a final blessing for the rest of our day and the rest of the night may the hands of the father uphold us may the hands of the savior enfold us May the hands of the Spirit surround us. May God, the Holy Trinity, bless us. In our sleep with rest, in our dreams with vision, in our way with a calm mind, in our souls the friendship of the Holy Spirit, this day and every day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those you love, now and always. Amen.
enjoy the rest of your day